um, who are regular watchers, you might remember, um, I guess it was about six or seven months ago, I did a story on uh, Tiny Kittens, which was a, a webcam that was set up by, by Shelly Roche, who basically, um, she fosters a lot of kittens and sort of helps them with uh, a lot of different issues. And these are cats that have, have been left by their owners at shelters and things like that. And she started putting it on the internet and become a viral sensation around the world. And, um, and now... She comes to me with another story, and this is a, a little story about Cassidy the kitten who you see right here. And Shelly, thanks very much for being here. We also have two students here, uh, Josh Mesmer and Isaiah Walker with Walnut Grove Secondary. Now, we'll get to you guys in just a second, but first, this cat particularly was actually found at a cat colony that you guys were made aware of. So tell us about this. Yeah, so we are um, spaying and neutering a colony of about 200 feral cats so these are wild cats that uh, live in a rural area in Langley and just continue to have babies and make more cats and it's becoming a real problem there so uh, we've stepped in to start to help reduce the overpopulation in that area right mainly. yeah and and I didn't know that there were so many feral cats out there and you, you gave me a number one time they're all over the lower mainland this is a major problem oh yeah yeah we estimate we have about 22,000 uh, feral cats wow. just in Langley which wow. is insane. incredible yeah so uh, hence uh, comes the, uh, little Cassidy now Cassidy's got some challenges so explain challenges for Cassidy yeah he sure does he um, he, he was born uh, with all four legs but shortly after birth he lost his little back legs as you can see, so he managed to survive somehow for nine weeks until we found him. And he was literally dragging himself across the ground, right? Because he couldn't, you know, he was so little and he didn't know, he had no legs to walk on, so yeah. he was dragging himself. Yeah, he actually had learned how to lift his little bum up off the ground and, and was walking like a little reverse velociraptor. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> so, so you wanted to obviously, this... I know you're a huge cat person, and you wanted to obviously help this cat out the best way you could. Hence, the two students come in. So explain, explain how these guys are, are a part of the story. Yeah, so I kind of put a call out on Facebook to see if anyone might help us with some sort of sling or potentially a wheelchair just to help him get around. Because he does have the mind of a 12-week-old kitten now inside a body that can't quite keep up. Yeah. And, um, and so uh, these guys, the secretary at their school, passed the, the uh, post along to them, and they totally were like, let's make him a, a wheelchair. Yeah, and so you guys, to pick it up from there, so you, you found out, how did you sort of start going about doing this? Uh, well, our teacher was just, just the, one of the first days of school, he was just talking to us about it, and we were just kind of drawing on the whiteboard, like how we might like support the CAD and build it up. And, stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> and so this is the wheelchair here? Yeah. And, and this, how did you make it? Uh, the 3D printer at our school just... We modeled it in 3D, and then it just quickly prints it out. Yeah, I'm sorry. How, how old are you guys? Uh, 17. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And about to, about to go on to a career much better than ours. Right, yeah. <laughs> and these guys just found the water on Mars. It's yes, amazing, exactly. right, with that thing. So how long, did you have to go through a number of different designs, or was it basically you, you designed it on the computer and then it Originally, it we were trying to think of, like, how other people have done it, um, I obviously not with 3D printers yeah. and then just seeing how it worked out and then trying to get the dimensions right and balancing and hoping that we could get it to fit and everything so right. it it for printing it took the it was two designs and then with modeling it went through a couple phases now can can we put Cassidy in it and see, yeah. see how it works because we, we showed a little bit of video earlier of Cassidy getting to use this for the very first time and um, Shelley what was it like when you saw Cassidy for the very first time actually being a being able to use this. Oh, I totally was weeping like a baby. Because <laughs> you just, you know, I've seen him be so frustrated at not being able to move freely and do kitten stuff. Right. And so for him to be able to actually, he was actually chasing one of my cats. Yeah, and, um, oh, thanks. There you go, buddy. Oh, perfect. See, I wore some socks today just to Got kind it. of like coincide with the feline. Oh, he, likes, he likes that. He oh, yeah? of your fashion sense. All right, yeah. here we go. That's oh, good. yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Let's, there, so there so, has yeah, it works. So, so basically... Well, yeah, he needs his front feet, right? So yeah. he kind of just goes like this. You can put him on the floor if you want, yeah. Okay. We'll sort of give an idea. He's uh, gained a little bit of weight since. Yeah, so this is going to be an ongoing thing for Cassidy, of course. And <laughs> totally. And where's your mousey? Come get your mousey. Oh, my goodness. I, I know. That. Isn't that cool? <laughs>
And so he, has he taken to it? Like, is, 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 does he enjoy being in that? And yeah, there's yeah. There's a lot of people around, so he's a little nervous. But yeah, yeah. But just the ability to not have to to, to walk the way he was trying, attempting yeah. to walk and stuff, has made a, 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 a I would think a major difference in his life so far. To totally, his whole he, he just is so much happier, and having the freedom to be able to move is something he's never had before. Right. And so it's really made a difference for him. Um, yeah, so he, he was he was pretty starved when he found him, so he's still working on he needs to do some push-ups and yeah. push and things. We all need to do a few push-ups, <laughs> yeah, frankly. I'm good. still blown away by these two who yeah. just what do you know, guys think when we see that whole thing. Yeah, what do you think about that? I'm really proud that it's gotten this far. Yeah. I mean yeah. from computer stage to being able to actually have it working with Cassidy and then Yeah. Did you get marked? To... Did you get an A? <laughs> Come on. I mean yeah. better, who is better. the teacher here? Yeah. yeah. No. You guys get an A in life for this one, eh? Yeah. <laughs> you care about the grade, you kind of put that through. So yeah. that's incredible. Now, as you mentioned, there is a, 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 a still a tremendous need out in, in Langley and other municipalities as well. So if people want to help out, and, um, and not necessarily just with Cassidy, but with, uh, with the project that you're trying to do with all these feral cats and, and that, where can people go to get uh, more information? Uh, tinykittens.com. Tinykittens.com. Lots of information okay. there. And Shelly's also on, um, she's posting on, uh, on her live webcam a ton, so you can check mm -hmm. out uh, past videos and current videos as well and and uh, there's just you just gave another one of your kitties just gave birth recently right yeah uh, yeah I actually have a mom with um, 12 kittens five are hers and then she adopted yeah. seven from another mom oh my goodness wow yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a little crazy at our house yeah. <laughs> yeah, kidding. well thank you very much and also a great job for uh, Josh and Isaiah at Walnut Grove secondary as well congratulations uh, this was a, a wonderful design and, and thanks for sharing the story with us we sure appreciate it thanks guys thanks Shelly thank